Sagittarius, it's CJ here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you stopped by. I appreciate you so much and thank you for taking the time to visit with me and see what this full moon in Taurus with this lunar eclipse is going to play out for you for this month of November 8th, I guess it's happening on. Um, look, I let's just talk about this for a couple of seconds because this is going to be pretty crazy, I feel. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Um, you know, Taurus is known to be reliable, hardworking, all of that kind of energy. It's Earth, so quite grounded. But this eclipse in the lunar, the lunar eclipse, I feel like it's going to be a little intense for all of us. And so Sag, my, what I was picking up from spirit when I was just meditating and thinking about all of this, for you, I feel the advice just that I'm getting from my guides is that really kind of important on that Tuesday, November 8th, I believe it is, on Tuesday. Um, take a night off. <laughs> I think that's about the best way to put it. You know, I don't know where you all live. I live in the Northern Hemisphere. We've got daylight savings time kicking in on the 7th, which means it's going to be lighter earlier in the day, but it's going to be darker quicker in the evening, which, you know, I don't really love that. Um, so we're all going to be already feeling a little bit different and a little bit um, out of our routine because the light is changing, right? On top of that, to have this lunar or this yeah lunar eclipse, I feel like it's going to be a time where we just really want to kind of like, you know, um, shut the lights off, have a fire, light some candles if you're into that kind of stuff, pour a glass of wine. I know I will be on that night. Um, and just kind of take that time to reflect and not try not to get too much in your emotions as well as try not to get too much in your head. It's going to be a little bit of a topsy-turvy time. And if we can remain calm during this the best that we can, um, that is going to be beneficial as we start moving forward. I mean, the full moon normally only affects us for, you know, it can be a week before and a week after. But this eclipse season, although this is the last eclipse, you know, it can actually drag on for another six months what energy we're kind of pulling towards us at that time, what energy we're pushing away. So I think the healthiest thing for us to do um, is really just kind of to tune out a little bit that night. Um, sure, write things down that you want to release and get rid of that and make a plan of what you want to start inviting and embarking on moving forward. But at the same time, really just kind of take a night to just maybe even pamper yourself. Put the good vibes in about loving yourself and being a little sweeter and kinder to yourself that night because that energy then is kind of getting like, it's almost like the stamp that you're putting in. And as you move forward, we've kind of given the energy, the universe, the energy of like, look, we just want to be good. We want to be healthy. We want to be peaceful and we want to, um, feel good and take care of ourselves. And if we kind of put that on or in that energy field, then no matter what is coming towards us, I feel that will help always kind of like, um, slow the flame down. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. Okay. So Sag, before I waste any more of your time. Let's get into it. I'm going to use my Moonology deck and let's see what's coming out for you. Um, what advice or, you know, guidance spirit can offer you for this full moon, baby, full moon. Okay, spirit, let's begin for Sagittarius. I mean, I'm not, I'm not scared or anything, but I just feel like it's going to be pretty intense for us. I mean, we're Saggies, right? Um, you know, it's going to feel I just feel like it's going to be a night where you just kind of a night, 24 hours, but I mean, most of people work and all that stuff to just kind of tune out that night, like just give yourself a break. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the most therapeutic thing that we all can do. Okay, spirit, let me get a card. What info, what guidance do you have for Sagittarius for this full moon and lunar, total lunar eclipse on the 8th? Man, this deck is quiet. Okay, well, we'll wait. Show me clearly, please. My nose is getting itchy again. Happened when I just did your weekend read, too. Doesn't happen all the time, but um, once in a while, spirit really kind of comes through with the itchy nose. Okay, show me clearly, please, spirit. Mm, way too many. Let's put this back. Okay, oh, wow, the deck has just gone a little crazy. All right. All right, Spirit, one card, please, or whatever cards you want, but show me clearly, please, for Sagittarius. I don't want to pick Sag. Spirit always shows me. Okay, that one. 
Nothing will come of this situation. It's the void of course moon. Now, isn't that interesting considering we're having the full moon and the lunar eclipse? Um, you know, the lunar eclipse is when, you know, we don't, we don't see it, right? Um, so nothing will come of the situation. Look, this could either be a good thing or it could be not such a good thing. It depends, right, on how we're looking at it. Um, right now, I'm feeling like if there's something that you're worried about, something that you're stressed, something that is bogging you down, and you might be kind of feeling like, oh shit, like what's around the corner? This is Spirit's way of coming through to say, look, don't worry about it. Nothing's going to come out of it. Like it's going to be all right. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck though. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So there we go. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, and then we have luck is on your side. New moon and Saggy. We will take that. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. Now Capricorn is also Earth. It's not Taurus, but it's still Earth, right? This could be something to do with your finances, I'm feeling. Um, maybe even struggling, you know, as many of us have been over the last, what, two and a half years, three years, since all of this COVID and all this kind of stuff has been going on. I mean, it, so much has changed in our world. There has not been a lot of stability for m the majority of us, if we're going to be honest. So this is a beautiful energy to come out. That's why they were giving me that. Nothing will come out of the situation. There's no point in putting your energy in worrying about it and stressing about it because they're letting you know it's not going to go the way you think it is. And especially if you're thinking more in the lower vibrational energy and they're reminding you here that, you know, the end of this tough cycle, regardless of how long it has been going on, um, it is concluding. It's going to be concluded. And again, it's a full moon in Capricorn. And look, this is what was underneath. And I do feel spirit one. Oh my gosh, you guys, my nose. So itchy, the tip. Okay. Um, this is yours. This is your card. It's the new moon in Sagittarius. Uh, you know, and that's not that far away here. Um, that's going to be at the end of November, the third, third going fourth week. This is yours. And it says luck is on your side. So beautiful energy coming towards you. Whatever you're stressing about, whatever's going on, um, for those of you that are relating to this reading, if I could get these all up here. It is going to be okay. Keep focusing on the good stuff. You know, um, manifest what it is that you're wanting. Put that energy in as if like, think about it like if all your thoughts became a thing tomorrow, what do you want to be that thing? Really actually put that, um, put that in you. Like every single thought that you have does become something. It's matter of fact, it, it depends on how long it's going to take, right? Some things are take a lot longer to manifest than other things can manifest quickly. But the, my message that I'm trying to say is focus on what you do want to bring in as if it would appear at your doorstep instantly. If you do that, that will then, I mean, I'm trying to do that and it's kind of working. Um, that when you do that, then you actually are much more... Um, Focus, focus, yes, there's another word that they're trying to give me. Much more of a strong intention that you are setting that will then have more likelihood of manifesting. If we allow ourselves to go, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, what happens if this happens? If we focus on that and we assume that that's going to show up on our doorstep, we don't want that. So, wow, beautiful message that Spirit just gave us. So let's keep that, you know, in our back pocket. My daughter always says it, keep it in your back pocket. So I guess I just borrowed that from her. Okay, Sag, let's get into the reading. Three cards spread for Sagittarius for this full moon that is right around the corner for us. Okay, nine of pentacles, baby. Ooh, beautiful. Independence, money growing, self-confidence, expanding feeling joyful, feeling happy, knowing that you can do and um, get what you truly want. I love that message. Let's continue. Two more cards, please, Spirit. For Sagittarius. I'm excited to get into your season, too. Okay, we just got two that fell out. The Hermit. What have I just been blabbing about? <laughs> Taking the night off. Taking the night off, putting your feet up, doing all the things that you really love to do that make you feel cozy. Or if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I'm sure it's very nice and beautiful and warm there. Um, 
Go do those things that you love to do. Go stare at the stars, you know. But it is the hermit. So Virgo's card, it is about taking that quiet time out for yourself and just to reflect on what you want, what you don't want, um, and not to be distracted by anyone or anything else that may be going on outside of you. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Well, wow, beautiful. Clear thinking, receiving clear messages, getting your complete um, direction in your eyes of which way you're going to be going um, and knowing that you can achieve it. Queen of Swords is powerful. Um, she stands for the truth. She's also air. It is how we think in our logic and she knows what she wants and she always goes after it. She doesn't allow any negative thinking because she'll use that sword to cut it out, right? Even if that's another person that could be around that might be influencing something negative in you, um, or that might be trying to put a little bit of fear base into you, she wouldn't allow that because she's just like, that's bullshit. She sees clearly. She can see through lies, manipulation, and even doubts, right, or self-fear. Look at this message that's coming through. Nine of Pentacles, all is well. All is continuing to grow. Whatever you've planted, whatever you've been focusing on, Saji, love, your money, your home, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We're all on different paths here. It's like as long as you just keep doing that and take that beautiful time out for you, wow, you're going to be unstoppable. You're going to be unstoppable. I love this energy. You know, luck is on your side. So where you're putting your focus is really where the energy is coming out of the divine to support you in this. And they want you to not put your energy into um, the fear base, you know, the worry, the worry, right? Whatever you're wanting, you can bring. Three of Cups is on the bottom here. Three of Cups followed by the Sun. Oh, this is wonderful. Celebration, having fun is the Three of Cups. Really letting your hair down and just enjoying yourself. Now, I've just said, I think everyone should be taking a night off, especially Saggies. Um, but maybe do it with a couple of your close friends if you're open to that, right? But look at the Sun. The Sun is showing up. Leo's card. All is good. You're going to be receiving good things. I mean, this is a positive, I almost said positive ass reading. Yeah, positive ass reading. It is a really great reading. I'm going to leave these two out because um, I do feel guided to definitely allow that energy to come and mingle with this energy on this table. The end of your tough struggles are coming. You're going to know what way to start going. Really just embrace a little time on your own so that you are clear, so that you do know what you really want without any doubts, without any added stress. Just focus on the pentacles, you know, and that's pentacles is I always kind of feel like it's more about our money and our home and all that stuff, our material stuff. But it's also that, like I said, that beautiful self-confidence, knowing and trusting that you actually, Sag, can handle anything that you, that comes up. You are such a strong, strong soul. You are loving. Remember to be loving to yourself as well. Um, wow, beautiful. I think you guys have some of the best smiles, you know. You light the room up. So let that really shine through. Okay, anything else? Let's not be specific. Just show me, um, Spirit, if there's any other messages that you have for Saggy for this full moon. I mean, the sun represents freedom, it represents joy, it represents feeling like you're not tied down anymore, feeling like nothing is keeping you um, stuck. It, it can represent, you know, major blessings, abundance, all that. It is a freeing energy and an exciting one at the same time. Anything else? I'm going to go a couple more shuffles, see if there's anything else that they want. These two. These two? You know, I, I'm not, I don't feel it. So we'll see. Show me clearer, please, Spirit. Thank you so much, beautiful Spirit. But show me clearly. What other message? Do you have any other message that you want Sag to know? Oh, my God. Did you see this? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. I got to calm myself. Calm myself. Nine of Cups flew out. Wishes fulfilled. Wishes fulfilled, Saggy. And if that is not enough for you, the Empress. The Empress on the bottom of the deck. Abundance. Oh my goodness. You have such cards here of abundance, in love, in relationships, feeling free, feeling light, 
feeling finely. You have nurturing and protection, that seed that you planted, whatever seed that was that you've been working on for however long it may have been. It is coming. It is about to be birthed. Look, there's a full moon in my Empress card. So that's powerful. Um, and then it's even followed by the King of... Oh, honest, honestly, this is the best reading ever. Holy cow. King of Pentacles. Do you see? King of Pentacles. Safe, secure, solid foundation. No more worrying. No need to stress anymore. And look at this, baby. The Ten of Pentacles. Happily ever after, if I can say that. Now look, we got to be realistic. Life is pretty tough here on Earth. So there's always going to be little hiccups and stuff. But this is a great omen. This is like... Holy cow. I mean, this is just beautiful success, abundance, joy. It's followed by, oh my God, it just keeps coming. Um, chariot, which is Cancer's card. I'm trying to speak as slow as I can here so I can keep my energy calm. Chariot, being in, uh, being the boss, being back in that, that seat of the driver's seat of your entire life and knowing what way you're heading and moving in quite swift movements, you know, and it takes a lot to... <clears throat> be in the chariot. It does. You've got two beautiful, powerful horses, and you're half horse, um, that could possibly go whatever direction they want, right? But they're not. They are following your lead here. Oh, and then after that, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and your card. Oh my gosh, Sag, and the King of Wands. I mean, honestly, you have everything right now. This full moon is going to be such a powerful shift in your life. Ace of, I mean, to have you showing up, you really showing up, temperance, patience that you've had, waiting for it all, you know, just waiting, but finally divine steps in and gives it to you. I'm not even sure if I'm holding these right enough, but you can see them. Brand new start in your emotions. The cup run, runneth over with love and feeling so good inside. Ace of Pentacles, new beginning in your finances, you know, in your material world. Sag, this is incredible. And I know I put these back in the wrong order, but it doesn't really matter, right? Um, this is incredible. What a beautiful reading for you. And just... It's just, I can't think of any beautiful card that's in the deck that is more, you've got them all. You've got them all here. This is a big deal. So take that night and really focus on your dreams, your wishes. We all have different things that we want, right? Really cement that, cement that. And also at the same time, cement what you don't want anymore. Don't spend a lot of time focusing on that. Maybe write it down quickly and then rip it up, burn it, whatever. Get rid of it. Don't put much energy into what you don't want because you don't want that coming in. You don't want that blocking this. This is a big deal. So what this is telling me, I'm going to wrap this up right away, but what this is telling me here, like luck is on your side. I mean, look, luck is like you prepping and you going through so much obstacles and now it's like the door has been wide open, is being kicked wide open. And I just feel like this is going to be the, the start or the continuing for you. I said eclipses, they say they, the energy lasts for about six months. So this is a new start for you. Um, I have no doubt about it. Sag, this is incredible. Okay, I'm going to close this reading off. Let's get you a pearl of wisdom. This is so awesome. So great. You know, and remember time, fluid, right? This, you, it might not be like November 9th, you wake up and all of a sudden this all happens for you. I mean, some for some of you, that could very well be. Um, but let's just be patient and just know that what you are wanting is coming. Oh, I love this. And look, I, you know this, I always shuffle off camera. I don't even look at the bottom because, you know, I'm shuffling after. But I just want to say there's a change in the future. This is on the bottom. Again, another horse. So, wow, beautiful. Okay, Spirit, one final card for Saggies. Oh, this is so good. Ooh, okay, that one just shot out. And actually, there's three that shot out. Inner beauty, gratitude, and new growth. Okay. Wow. Okay, new growth. Let's start with this one. It's time to spread your wing and fly. 
I am responsible. This is a butterfly, by the way, too, and I did say transformation. It does say understanding another's point of view shows maturity and growth. This, focus on the new growth. That is what's going on here. And that transformation. This is a big shift. Big, big shift. We have gratitude, which is always important to stay in appreciation and, appreci and be full of gratitude for each of the blessings you do have. Angels guide you through emotional times, enjoy life's challenges, and fear will soon disappear. Acknowledge when trust acknowledge when trust and your inner knowing help you to move forward. This is all about getting in touch with that inner guidance system, your intuition, your part of source. It is about you really knowing that you can have what you truly, truly want, and that the angels and your guides and whatever you believe in spiritually wise. They are helping you. I mean, it is manifesting. And then we have inner beauty. Others are drawn to your kind heart and caring nature. Be proud of your skills and believe in yourself. Old habits die hard, but are overcome by stepping back and seeing what others see. That's right, Saji, you deserve all of this because you have worked so hard and you've gone through so much that it is time for you to really start rejoicing and enjoying this life, you know? Reflection is on the bottom. I like that because that's like a hermit. It is a pink flamingo and it says we are human. Who says we have to be perfect? Love yourself unconditionally as the angels do and the actions and words of others will be the reflection. I'll show that to you. Yeah, this is, oh, and then change for the future is on the bottom again. Okay, Sag, this is powerful. Ooh, let me know how this goes for you. I'm really excited. Um, I'll be thinking of all of you on this November 8th, as I do every day. Uh, I love connecting with you guys and it's just awesome. So let's get excited together, right? Woohoo! This is, this is exciting. And we're about to enter your season. What a time to really start allowing that magic to come into your life. All right, Saji, if you enjoyed this, as always, I do offer private readings. You can find that information down below. And I love you. I send you so much love. I wish you so much peace um, and so much abundance. And it is coming. It's coming, baby. So get ready. Mwah. Until next time, take care, Sag.